my dog loves music and oh my gosh um kenzie i was gonna try to tell her before we jumped off here but she jumped off my dog i have like french doors and she came over while kenzie was singing and was looking through the glass like what's going on there like i want to see the music i can hear it like she was just jamming out at the window i'm like oh i need to video her but my phone's up here so i couldn't but anyways hi brian how are you <laughs> Doing wonderful. So uh, you want to kind of introduce yourself to people that might be checking yes. us out? And Definitely. Well, hey, y'all. I'm Dallas Remington. I am actually um, from halfway between Nashville and St. Louis. I'm from a little town in Kentucky called Paducah. Um, so I've spent a lot of my life in southeastern Missouri and um, going up into St. Louis to get, go to the arch and hit the airport. Um, but I'm super excited to be at Freedom Jam 2021. Um, you know, it's been a crazy year this year, not being able to travel. So whenever we got that booked and we we're going to be able to go somewhere safely and do a concert, I've been super excited. So I am so honored to be a part of the lineup for this year and can't wait to meet all y'all in person. Brian, meet you in person, considering we've only met through this kind of thing and Instagram. Um, uh, I'm just, I'm really excited. So, um, and you know, it's Christmas. So to get to sing some Christmas songs, this is one of my only Christmas shows actually this year. So I've been looking forward to this. Awesome. Well, kick it off. Let's go. Oh, I'm um, starting off with one of my favorite Christmas songs of all time by one of my favorite bands of all time, Alabama. And uh, this was off one of their Christmas records. I absolutely love this one. Um, it's called Christmas and Dixie. <laughs> So that was number two. I guess what what would be one of your um your your greatest or most cherished Christmas memories? Yeah, so I was actually talking about that earlier. Um one of my favorite, we have a lot of traditions in my family, and we try to literally every Christmas, like we just try to do everything the same. We watch the same movie while we're putting decorating the tree. 
even if it takes us longer we watch the movie and repeat like we do a lot of the same stuff so i i love christmas with my family and like there's this one thing um that my mom and i we do every year so every year um we have christmas morning at our house after my dad gets home from the farm we open our presents and everything then we have breakfast and then normally my mama's family comes over to our house for christmas evening and on Christmas afternoon, my mama and I, we will clean up the house and we'll cook in the kitchen and we'll listen to Alabama's Christmas record on repeat. And that's just one of my favorite things about Christmas. It's just in that kitchen with my mama. Um, Y'all know I love to cook. And so I just, I absolutely love that. And then uh, we always watch the Berenstein Bears Christmas tree while we put up the tree. Like we still have it on VHS and we still have a VCR player or whatever the heck you call a thing. We make it work every year, <laughs> but uh, so awesome. there's so many memories, but um, Christmas is always just a special time because it's time we can be with our family and it's one of the one days of the year my dad will allow himself to be away from the farm for more than three hours, <laughs> which is asking for a lot. <laughs> well, tonight's a special night too, as we've got Dallas Remington here getting ready to kick off Christmas song number two and uh, yes. and let's, let's do it. Yeah, so this one is actually um, one of my favorite Christmas songs. It's actually, an, it was famous as a country song. And then they went back and they made a Christmas version of it. Um, so uh, this was a Blake Shelton song. And then he did a Christmas version with Michael Buble. And I love Michael Buble. I know he's not a country artist, but I could listen to that boy sing all day long. Like, oh my goodness. So I loved this version of this song. So the second I heard it, I had to go learn it. But um, this is the Christmas version of Blake Shelton's Home. And I can relate so well to this song, especially living away from home now. Um, sometimes like one year I didn't get to go to Christmas. I didn't get to go home for Christmas, Christmas literally till Christmas Eve. Um, and that was really tough on me because I'm used to being you know, there for weeks at a time. So this one means a lot to me and I can relate so well. So hopefully y'all can too, um, but hopefully not. Hopefully you're already home with your loved ones. Uh, if not, then hopefully you get home soon, but here's home. Christmas Day will come and go away, but I got so far to go and I want to go home. I need to go home. Maybe surrounded by strangers and Christmas lights, I shouldn't be so alone, but I want to go home. God, I miss you, you know. I can close my eyes on the tree, a blanket of snow outside, and all my friends and family, and I know that you're no further than far away, but I need to see your face, a call can never be the same. Another Christmas day will come and go away, but I won't leave you alone. I want to go home. I've got to go home. Let me go home. I'm just too far from where you are.
everybody watching this just a piece of advice during the holiday season what, yeah. what would that be yeah i mean i definitely this 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 christmas season is so difficult um for a lot of people you know we've been trying to figure out how we're going to safely have christmas with our family and how we're going to be able to be together and i know that's a lot of it's on a lot of people's hearts and a lot of people's minds so first of all you know merry christmas and i know the song said but a phone call can never be the same but you know maybe this year to be safe and to be with your family it might just be a phone call but make sure you get that call in make sure you talk to your loved ones this Christmas I know that like we just went through Thanksgiving and we just all sat at the table crying because we couldn't be with our family and I know it's gonna be a really hard year um Christmas season for a lot of people because it's not the same but just make sure you tell the people you love that you love them, that you miss them, wish them a Merry Christmas, send them a present through the mail. That's what I'm going to have to do with my best friend, literally mailing them their presents. Well, but... I appreciate the present you're sending me. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Got to be thinking on that. <laughs> I'll need your address, Brian. <laughs> but, you know, just make sure you tell the people you love, you love them and, you know, try to be there for them, even if it is just a phone call. So try to make the most of it. And like she, um, October Rose was saying, you know, take it day by day and just try to, live your life the best you can and make sure you tell those people you love them because you never know if any if this year has taught us anything you never know 